Okay, time for the Bill of Rights, and this will be three videos. I'm first going to do the intro, and which is them proposing the first 12 amendments. And then I'm going to do, second video will be the first 10 am actual amendments that are part of the Constitution. And then the third one will be the 11th through the 27th amendments. So let's get going. Okay. Oh, and here's the little intro. On September 25th, 1789, the first Congress of the United States proposed 12 amendments to the Constitution. The 1789 Joint Resolution of Congress proposing the amendments is on display in the rotunda in the National Archives Museum. Ten of the proposed proposed 12 amendments were ratified by three-fourths of the state legislatures on December 15, 1791. The ratified articles, Articles 3 through 12, constitute the first 10 amendments of the Constitution or the U.S. Bill of Rights. In 1992, 203 years after it was proposed, Article 2 was ratified as the 27th Amendment to the Constitution. Article 1 was never ratified. And this now is the transcription of the 1789 Joint Resolution of Congress proposing 12, amendment, 12 amendments to the U.S. Constitution. Congress of the United States began and held at the city of New York on Wednesday the 4th of March 1789. The conventions of a number of the states having at the time of their adopting the Constitution expressed a desire in order to prevent misconstruction or abuse of its powers that further declaratory, declaratory and restrictive clauses should be added and as extending the ground of public confidence in the government will best ensure the bene beneficent ends of, it ins of its institution. Resolved by the Senate and House of Representatives of the United States of America, in Congress assembled two-thirds of both houses concurring that the following articles be proposed to the legislatures of the several states as amendments to the Constitution of the United States, all or by any of which articles, when ratified by three-fourths of the said legislatures, to be valid to all intents and purposes as part of the said Constitution. Then just a viz, V-I-Z, after a semicolon. No idea. Articles in addition to an amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America proposed by Congress and ratified by the legislatures of the several states pursuant to the fifth article of the original Constitution. Article the first. After the first enumeration required by the first article of the Constitution, there shall be one representative for every 30,000 until the number shall amount to 100, after which the proportion shall be so regulated by Congress that there shall not be less than 100 representatives, nor less than one representative for every 40,000 persons, until the number of representatives shall amount to 200, after which the proportion shall be so regulated by Congress that there shall not be less than 200 representatives, nor more than one representative for every 50,000 persons. Article the second. No law varying the compensations for the services of the senators and representatives shall take effect until an election of representatives shall have intervened. Article the third, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion 
or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. I think, you know, that. Article the Fourth. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Article the Fifth. No soldier shall, in time of peace, be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in a manner to be prescribed by law. Article the Sixth. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrant shall issue but un upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched, and the persons or things to be seized. Article the Seventh. No person shall be held to answer for capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on presentment or indictment of a grand jury, except in cases arising in the land or naval forces or in the militia, when in actual service in time of war or public danger, nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb, nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. Article the Eighth. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy their right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed, sorry, bugs are around, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, to have compulsory, compulsory process for obtaining witnesses in his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. Article the Ninth. In suits at common law, where the value in controversy shall exceed twenty dollars, the right of trial by jury shall be preserved, and no fact tried by jury shall otherwise be re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. Article the ninth. Oh wait, that is the one I just read. Sorry. Article the tenth. Excessive bail should not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punish punishments inflicted. Article the eleventh. Come on, if I'm gonna burp I need to do it. The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. Article the Twelfth. The powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. A test, which is like, you know, the signature. Frederick Augustus Muhlenberg, Speaker of the House of Representatives, John Adams, Vice President of the United States and President of the Senate, John Beckley, Clerk of the House of Representatives, Sam A. Otis, Secretary of the Senate. And now I'll go to the first 10 Bill of Rights in just a minute.